As we take a live look across the Toledo Metro for the start of this morning, still got those cloudy skies, but you tell those roadways nice and dry to start off your morning. Taking a live look out in Waterville, down to Bowling Green, and out in Sylvania and downtown, looking nice and dry. Overall, look at those current temperatures across uh, the area. Toledo at 42 degrees, Northwood 43 degrees, up to Point Place 43. Uh, Perry's over 42 and a little cooler out in Swanton and Waterville at 41 degrees. We widen the pitch routes and at least look at uh, some of those temperatures across the Midwest, 48 degrees in Chicago, 49 in Springfield, St. Louis at 51 degrees. As you look at that radar and satellite as well, still seeing those cloudy skies and a few rain showers off into northern Illinois, but most of those really staying uh, just west of our area into Chicago for this Sunday. So a dry and mild one it will be for today with mostly cloudy skies and highs only into the upper 50s for today as well for your Sunday. And as you look at the next four days, Overall, still upper 50s for Sunday into Monday, and we'll start to usher in some rain showers for your Tuesday mid 60s. So a slightly warmer and towards your Tuesday and by Wednesday, cooler conditions mid 50s on the way. And just after that, we do have an alert day in effect for your Thursday for a taste of winter. So typically we do start to see some of those snowflakes around this time of year and we got uh, some breezy conditions and also some chilly rain chances as well. So really going to be one of those soggy, wet, windy days out there. So we would, that's why we do have that alert day in effect for your Thursday, just to be careful out there on those roadways and especially that bus stop forecast where it's going to be a chilly one. As you look at that alert day forecast, this is where the system will be right around 6 p.m. Eventually it will make its way across the United States into the Great Plains at 1 p.m. on Monday, bringing some rain showers to Texas and Oklahoma. By Tuesday, that's when we'll start to see some of those rain showers as well by Tuesday uh, around uh, Tuesday afternoon. Going into Wednesday night, though, this is when this system wraps back around. And you see those winds really going to start to pick up by Wednesday night into Thursday morning, actually bringing some rain and snow showers to our area by 2 p.m. and still on your Friday. So those windy conditions and cold and wet conditions. But how cold? Well, eventually as you go towards your Thursday, we're talking feel like temperatures into the upper 20s for Thursday morning, but it really doesn't get any better as you go throughout the day. As feel like temperatures will only be into the mid 30s. So if you add those cold conditions along with those rain showers and snow showers, Oh yeah, I'm really gonna not feel great outside as you'll need that heavy jacket and rain jacket for your Thursday. Not only that day, but also Tuesday into Wednesday as well. And for that alert day, especially for your Thursday, we still have some chances of some rain and snow showers for your Friday and Saturday. And if you are heading out to the zoo lights, at least you grab that umbrella and jacket for your Friday. Same case for the BG holiday parade on Saturday. We're back dry by Sunday, mid 40s. More rain showers do affect the ride for your Monday as we'll be into the upper 40s.